we had met okay, through work. So you work. worked on television. Yeah, we had met through work um, a couple of times. Um, I was out at a club and I was drinking with my friends. I had been there for a while, so I had drunk quite a bit. And uh, I saw him out. And of course, you know show bismo when you see somebody that you know, you like say hi, you hang right. out, you hey, como esta, blah, 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 all that right. stuff, Best you know. Beso, beso, blah, blah. And then uh, we, we drink together. He buys me a drink and you know, we're hanging out and I'm with my friends though. So this is like, there's a bunch of people. and. After a little while, Mo, I want to go home. Like, I start to feel tired, and I'm like, I'm going to drive home. Yes, I know, 19-year-old, drunk driving, don't do it, kids, bad idea. But um, I decided I was going to go home. And he said to me, he goes, let me drive you home. And I was like, no, it's okay. Um, I'll go with my friends. My friends are going to come with me. He's like, no, let me drive you home. And I was like, no, no, it's fine. No, really, I can do it myself. It's really close by, I can do it. He's like, no, let me drive you home. And he was like insisting that he would drive me home. He's like, I'll get my driver to follow in your car, like in my car and I'll drive your car cause you're drunk and I'll take you back to your place and I'll go home right away afterwards. So I'm like, okay, I'm drunk. Okay, why not? You know, his driver's right there. I see his car. You know, he's going to go right afterwards. Why not? You know, you meet somebody through work. You don't assume that something bad is going to happen, which is yeah, plus, the you worst know, you, thing. You, you, you know, know I mean? about their reputation because of work. Exactly. Like, that's the thing. So a part of you maybe can then say, OK, I'm going to trust this guy. Exactly. And like you meet them through other people, you automatically assume that, you know, you can trust a person. Right. So as we're driving back to my place, Mo, while I'm in the car, I start to feel confused. I start to think to myself, what did I drink? Because I feel weird right now. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I like, I, when I was young, Mo, I could drink a lot. You know, you and me, we've drunk together. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I can drink a lot of alcohol if I want to and be sure. totally fine, you know? And stand up straight, walk to talk to guards, whatever. at least whatever, you, know you know what's going on. Like, exactly. You know, when you're drunk, whether you're stumbling or not, at least you know why. You know how much alcohol you've consumed to get to that point. Yeah. So you're saying you did not drink enough alcohol to get to the point where you were, in, like physically. You're like, I'm this is saying, not consistent to being drunk. I'm saying that in my whole life before that and after that, I've never felt that way before. Okay. Nor have I ever felt it again. I was at this confused. point, then, uh, okay, what, what we're leading here then is, you, you sounds like you were drugged. But at the time, did you think that, wait a minute. At the time, I, I, I didn't even, drugged. it didn't even cross my mind. You know, obviously, because I'd been okay. drinking, it was like, what alcohol did I mix? You know, did I drink a shot of something sure. that I wasn't as allergic to or something? Like, but I felt confused. That was what I felt. I felt baffled. Like, I don't know what's going on with me right now. You know, I don't know what's happening to my body. I'm... It was like I was in a fog, you know? And we get to my place and we park the car. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs now. Thank you so much. And his driver's right there. He's like, no, no, I'll take you upstairs. And I'm like, no, no, you can't take me upstairs. No, you can't take me upstairs. And he's like, no, no, no I'll take you upstairs. And he starts to like usher me towards the elevator. And I'm like, I don't wanna go, but I can't stop it. I can't, I can't control my body. I can't. I, I'm saying no. I'm like, no, no, you can't come up. No, there's something in me that's already freaking out. You know, like, no, don't do this. This is bad. This is bad. Don't do this. No, no, no. And okay, so this like, is your mind. Sorry, I'm going to Your mind is saying no. I can't. You can't come up. Yes. And I'm what saying What are you verbalizing? I'm saying no. Okay. I'm like, no, 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 you, no, you go home. No, you go home. No, you can't come upstairs. And he starts to usher me towards the elevator, right? And we get to the elevator and I reach into my bag when we're in the elevator and I get my key out and I'm holding it in my hand because I'm like, I need to go in my house, like fast. Like I need to go away. I don't know what's going so you're, on. So at me. this point, at this point, you already feel threatened. Yeah. Like I'm freaking out inside, but I'm still moving. You know what I mean? Which is what I didn't get. It was like, Mo. If I'm drunk and I feel freaked out, I'm gonna punch somebody in the face. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, I know you. All of yes, my friends that. would never assume that this would happen to me because they can leave me alone on a dark night and I would kill a guy if I thought he was gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? Right. But this case, you couldn't. I, I couldn't. And because I had your body never wasn't felt doing what before. your mind was saying? Yeah, it was like yeah. I was on autopilot 
but I, in my mind, I still knew something was wrong. And it was like, no, no, no. We get to my door and I am it, I am out of it, man. I'm holding my key in my hand and he's standing by my door and I'm like, no, you can't come in. No, you can't come in. No, no, now, no. Are, are no. you getting, sorry, are you getting worse now in terms of your inability to control yourself? Like, are you progressively getting worse? Yeah. You, you know, it, I'm it's, hazy. It's, another way. I'm, right, it's, it's, it's from, going though. I'm losing, yeah, I'm your losing Your physical it. state at this point is say worse than it was when you were in the vehicle. Yeah. Like okay, in the car so it started to hit me and it was like, Whoa, what's that? Like, how? Okay, how so then it, it, it does sound like then you were recently drugged at this point. Like, right before you were leaving, you were probably drugged. If you were drugged. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't that, like early on in the night or anything. It's no, starting no, to get no, worse. No. Okay. Like it, so you get it to the was, door. And I was, I was hazy. Like, I'm already stumbling a little bit, you know, and I have my key in my hand and I'm saying no. And I know he's getting a little bit irritated. You know, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on at this point, Mo. I'm, I'm losing consciousness. And he takes my key from me and he opens my door and I black the fuck out. I don't know what happens next. The only thing I know is that I woke up and I was passed out on my floor with my arms above my head like this and my legs were up in the air and he was pulling off my jeans. And he looked really surprised wow. that I was awake. And then I blacked out again. I came back to, and I was lying on my bed. I don't know how I got there. And he was lying on top of me. I blacked out again. I woke up again because he was kissing me. He kissed me and I was dreaming. And I thought that it was the guy that I had been dating at the time, you know? And I open my eyes, I see it's him and I freak out. And I'm like, get off me, what are you doing? No, no, and I'm like crying. I start crying, Mo, I'm like, no, you're, you're, uh, no. You're, you're naked at this point. I mean, no, you're... I have, I, I, I still have my shirt on the whole time. It's just my jeans that are around my ankles. And- you have underwear on? No. Nothing, okay. Right. I'm half naked. Sure. But I don't really know that at the time. You know, I'm waking sure. up in and out of consciousness and I don't know what's going on. It's like when I pass out, Mo, that I have no clue. It's like it's a reset button. You know what I mean? And I wake up yeah, again yeah. and it's like, where the fuck am I? What the hell's going on? And I panic. And you know what he says to me? He's like, don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. It's okay. Calm down. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen until I pass out again. And then he does it again, and I wake up, and I start to freak out again. And again, he sits down, and he says, don't worry, nothing's going to happen, it's okay. And he's trying to calm me down and whatever, until I pass out again. And I wake up, and I don't know how much time has passed, and there is a knocking at my door, and this wakes me up, and I don't know what's going on again. All I know is that there's somebody knocking on the door, and I walk across my entire apartment with my jeans around my ankles, I'm still in my high heels. Who in their right mind, Mo, walks across their entire apartment with their jeans around their ankles? You know how hard it is yeah, to walk yeah, with jeans yeah. around your ankles in heels? Yeah. And I open the door and it's two of my friends and my cat has run outside and they're out there and they're like, dude, your cat's out here. And you would think that at this point in time, you would start screaming. I'm being raped. Oh my God, there's a guy in my apartment. Come in here, save me, beat this dude up, do this. Da -da. Nothing. You know what I say? I'm like, please don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. And I close the door and I pull up my pants and I open the door again and they're gone. And I'm freaking out and I'm like, what happened? Where did they go? Where, where are they? And then this dude is still in my apartment. And I didn't know so if the he was still, still there. Still He's mind. still there. And I didn't even realize he was there. You know what I mean? It was like, it was like every time I passed out, it was a new chapter and I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, why are my pants around my ankles? I'm answering the door. I'm like, why, why am I half undressed? And then what happens after that is he walks over to me and he makes me beso and says bye and then he leaves. And I'm like, what? And then I blacked out. So what is the morning like then when you wake up? It's, it's, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. What's two I days after shock. what it's like? I mean, where do you go? 
was it was all of the trauma then at that moment and then day two day three you sit there and you do you ever contemplate what the fuck did just happen to me what happened to me two days ago like i, I mean what i don't I, i've never been in a situation like this so i don't know what's supposed to go on in your mind i'm just trying to but paint a picture is, well, what was it like the, the week after it happened you don't know Rape is an unnatural thing to anyone, okay? Nobody is trained to be raped. Nobody's trained to deal with being raped. Nobody at all. This is one of the worst things you could do to violate a human being. And we're all told, you know, we have to protect ourselves.